Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really beautiful look inspired by Sophia Loren. I think of this as her femme fatale look, the beautiful smoky cat eye and the red lip. And I just love this look because it's so classic but so wearable. It's perfect for a night out when you really want to look stunning and feel good about yourself. So let's get started. Now I already have my foundation on. I do recommend something that's fairly full coverage since this is a heavier night look, but depending on your skin type and how much makeup you like to wear, you can certainly go lighter. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now the first thing I'm going to do is grab my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one is in the color Chantilly and it gives a really nice pop against my skin tone and all i want to do with this is try to mimic her bone structure she's such beautiful features so i'm going to take it and curve it down on the cheek to give the illusion that i have her cheekbones and a little on the chin trying to make mine look a little more petite like hers and then again, just on the forehead, right there in the middle, to bring the forehead down too. Now the next step in trying to get her beautiful features is to use a bronzer. I'm going to grab the Fenty Beauty in Shady Biz. This color is more subtle against my skin, and this one will be used more for shaping. And then we'll go in with a slightly darker one for that dramatic effect. Again, just kind of sweeping in a circular motion. And then going all around the edge of my face, trying to make it look just a little smaller in the forehead and in the chin. And just a bit along the nose. I don't want to contour mine too much. Since this is a wearable look, I don't like to go out with a contour when it's just a dinner. Once that's in place, I'm going to go with my Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Gold Soleil. Now this one is a fair bit darker, has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And for this, I'm going to grab a smaller, slightly flat brush so I can really get those cheekbones highlighted. So instead of going in a total curve here, I'm just going to go right at that natural place where my cheekbones hit. And right in the middle of the chin, Just a little more up here by the hairline. Now let's give this a blend. So now let's move on to the eyes. Sophia Loren has those beautiful cat eyes. I do not naturally have them. So I'm going to show you how we can just mimic that shape with makeup. Now normally I would grab my chocolate gold palette. It has all the colors I love for a look like this. Fortunately, that palette is in a suitcase which has been lost. Um, hopefully will be found at some point. So instead I'm going to use an old but trusted palette. This is the Tarte palette. It's called Clay Play. Now this is an old palette, so I'm not even sure if they sell it anymore. But what we're looking for is a palette that has some really beautiful neutrals from ivories to browns to blacks. So if you do have the chocolate gold palette that I use in so many tutorials, you can grab that one. You'll see the colors are very similar. Or if you have a favorite neutral palette, go ahead and grab that one. So I'm going to start with this color sand. This will serve just as a base layer. Now I'm going to grab the color Stone. This is, if you can see, it is a pale brown. 
and this one is just going to be used to apply that nice initial smokiness. So I'm taking it about two thirds over the eye, leaving the middle corner that original color. And once you apply, just go in with your fluffy brush, make sure it's nice and clean if you've used it to put it on, and give that a nice blend. And now we're going to have smoke. This one is a darker shade of brown. And now is when we're going to start getting that cat effect. So I'm going to start right under the lash line, the bottom lash line, and just gently bring that color up in a straight line, about to where the crease in my eye is. And now connecting that crease to that first line, just going to come over here and go about halfway across the eye. And as you can see, the eye is beginning to get more lifted, more cat-like. So now we'll go back in with your freshly cleaned blending brush, and we're just going to gently start blending that in. So I like to start with the crease and just go toward the nose with that line. Nice and soft so the color stays where we want it. And now as we blend the corner, make sure that you're going in a nice angle like this. If you start dragging it down, it's going to ruin that effect. Alright, so now we're going to go for the color Onyx. This is just a matte black. And you're going to need an angled brush. Unfortunately, that item is also lost in the suitcase. I'm using this more squared one instead. Not my favorite, but we can make it work. You want to make sure you have enough product on here. Although, do try to stay on the tip. If you go all the way down, that can lead to black powder going everywhere, ruining your makeup. Now, the important part of this is to know your eye shape. Since we do want to create that beautiful cat look, I recommend only putting liner in areas that go down. So if you see on my eye, obviously this corner here is lower. Right up here is high. I'm going to leave the eyeliner off there. And then we have it low again. So my eyeliner is going to go here and here, and this part will remain blank. So I'm just going to apply a nice thin line here. And now we're just going to go underneath. And now because I don't have a proper angle brush, but I'm going to switch over to my eyeliner pen for the wing. All I'm going to do is grab right where I left off that raised line and gently wing it out. And now we've created that very beautiful cat eye look. Now she has beautiful lashes. You can go with false lashes if you'd like. I don't like to wear them. So I'm just going to start with my Lancome. This is an eyelash primer and this just helps give the mascara a little extra boost when you put it on. And when you apply this and the mascara, you want to guide your eyelashes in this angle. You don't want to go up because then your lashes will make your eyes appear more rounded. By going at this angle, it just increases the angular cat eye look. 
Now, as you can see, if I get close enough here, the lashes are very white. You just want to wait until the white turns clear and your eyelashes look their normal color before you apply your mascara. And that way you're going to know that it's totally dry and that when you put on the mascara, it's not just going to blend together and ruin the effect. And I always like to err on the cautious side. So while I wait for mine to dry, I'm going to start my eyebrows. Now, she also has absolutely beautiful and angular brows. So I'm just gonna start by brushing mine upwards a bit. I have fairly sparse and rounded brows. So I'm using my e.l.f. brow pencil and I'm just going to create more of an angle. When I'm, when I'm changing the shape of my brow, I like to almost draw a very light outline of the brow I want first. So here, I'm just bringing that over to make it look a bit more angular. And then we'll take it down in a nice arc. And then we can just gently fill in the rest. And that really helps add to the illusion that my eyes are more cat-like. As you can see, this one still looks a little more rounded. And we go over here and the brow really helps angle everything upward. So now down with the eyebrows, my eyelashes are nice and dry. And you see how that white has just disappeared. So now I'm going to use the Styla Huge Lashes Mascara. And as far as mascaras go, I think this one is one of the few that comes through on its promise. And the lashes do appear quite full, quite long. And as you can see, that, that's quite a bit different than this one. And now the final step is the lip. Now for this particular look, I have to go with a red lip. Sophia Loren looks absolutely stunning with a red lip and these smoky eyes and it's perfect. As I said earlier for a night out, for a date, I love a red lip. I love an occasion to wear one. So I'm going to start with my Italia Deluxe Lip Liner. This one is in the color Hot Red. And I'm just going to gently outline the lip. I'm not going to be overlining or anything. It's nothing over the top. And I also think with a red lip, it's already so bold, you don't really need to go bigger. I mean, you're going to notice them no matter what size. And now for lipstick, I'm going to use this beautiful little lipstick here. This one is Le from Paris Prestige Paris and it's called Sangria Kisses. I'll just show you the box. If my pronunciation has failed you, I did my best there. And I'll be quite honest, I bought this because I thought it looked so cute and I can't resist something that's rose gold and covered in sparkles. And as you see, this is just a really beautiful shade of red. It's not quite bright red, it's just slightly darker. I find that this is a color that everyone can wear. Sometimes a super bright red is harder for people to pull off. I know it is for me. Kind of makes my olive skin tone look a little too green. The deeper shade really complements it. And this is the final look. I find this the epitome of classic. I always feel very beautiful and sophisticated going out like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.